Now, do I think I was good enough for that team if I'm not selected? Yo, 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 what's going on, Team Tweety? I hope you're all super well. It's kind of, it's one o'clock. I've had my smoothie this morning. I also had my avocado on toast as well. Man, I'm still so pumped about the phone call last night. Man, it's cool. It's gonna be, so it's looking like in, so 4th of November is when we're looking at going over to Asia. I don't know the countries quite yet, but I said I was ready to go next week, but then I went, oh wait, no I'm not, I'm not fit enough, I'm not, I haven't trained enough to be ready to go on these trials. So I need to be working hard. Today's my day off. Thank goodness. Two days in a row of John Terry cardio workout with double, two double days and then I think I did another double or single day before that. So it's been tough, man, but we're gonna get Papa Tweety on camera, hear his thoughts about the situation, what's going on. Cause I'm excited, man. We're two days into the new series and we got Charles. Anyway, it's super exciting. That's what I know for sure. We got the man, Papa Tweety. How you feel to be I'm back on vlogs? That's Ooh. wonderful. <laughs> I live and breathe for it. Yeah, finally. I don't know what to do with myself. Finally, we're back in. Now, first off, we still don't know about America. I have... Classic. Yeah. It's just classic, isn't it? Lots of talk, nothing happens. I have a phone and call with... more talk. The, I have a phone call with the agent in 15 minutes. You always have phone calls yeah. with the agent. So every day. <laughs> but... We'll see. I told you last night... Well, actually, this morning, I had a phone call last night with the agent of another company, I guess, and they're going to send me over to Asia in about... A week and a half and you said something really interesting share it with the people everything I say is really interesting debatable <laughs> um, what did I say I said there's lots of Asian countries close together so if you're playing there and doing well and scoring goals then there'll be scouts there looking at you it's not like that in Australia in fact in Australia because everything is so big even in Sydney there's scouts there's yeah. no scouts there from Brisbane or Melbourne no it's just one league and that's it yeah and if you're already signed in that league, it's really hard. Oh, well, you play NPL one. I was thinking, I was laying in bed last night, going, you know how many players? I'd like to deeply look into this, but I believe zero players this year went from NPL one to the A League. I still remember when Chris Payne went from Manly to somewhere or other in the A League. I think it was, yeah. But the fact that I even remember that, it's like ten years ago yeah, or something, it's just. Shows how unusual it There's is. There's just a huge. I don't know what, and Chris Payne is top goal scorer again, like year after year. Uh, maybe he doesn't want to do it. Who knows? Well, who but knows? we don't know. It's but. just zero. It's and that's why. Uh, maybe one, but I can't think of one. I know it's. But like you said, Asia. And it's I a also place. think Asia culturally is going to be different. It won't be like Australia and some other countries where they go. You're too small. Yeah. Different. They wouldn't have a league if they rejected yeah. all the people who were too small over there. So, no, I think it would be a good opportunity. Yeah. Lots of countries around. It'll be good. Close to home. But I, I can fly over yeah. every weekend and watch you play. In 15 not, minutes, not. we might find out if I yeah, we might. sign in America. Who knows? We'll see. Right, back at the desk. 15 minutes is probably like 10 minutes now. 11 minutes. We're going to have the phone call. And I, don't know. I really don't know what the update is. I assume no update if I haven't heard anything, but I think Asia is looking more and more likely as time goes by. Maybe Asia will be better than America for me. Who knows, man? Like, you just have to kind of go with it. So, after the phone call, I'll catch you guys again and give you the update on everything that's going on because not even I know, man. It's, America's still on the table and it's frustrating and annoying, but it's good because there is an opportunity, but uh, I'll catch you soon. Yeah. Okay, perfect. So... Yeah. Oh, man. <laughs> now we just got more and more, ugh, like, decisions. Which is good. I, I don't mind more decisions, but it does make things difficult. So in terms of the team I was trialing with over in America last season, that's kind of like a... I, I don't know. I. I don't think it's gonna happen, which isn't the end of the world. It would have been nice, but now we got, oh man. So I'm just gonna jump in here because on the actual day of filming, I didn't feel like I explained the situation well enough. I kind of left it at what I just said and that was that. With that team I was trialing for, I've not been dropped. I've not been told that they don't want me. 
they're just in limbo because it is a new club. They're working out how many foreign players they can sign because it is also a new league. And there's a lot in the works. It's kind of difficult. I've been told there's only about six or seven players who have been given contracts. So it is not off the table. It's just an option which I believe it's kind of like a may or may not happen. And now I'm just focused on other stuff. If it happens, great. If it doesn't, we've got these other things backed up. Now, do I think I was good enough for that team if I'm not selected? Yes, I. The, one of the a couple of the players came up to me after the sessions when I was there saying, man, we need an attacking midfielder like you, uh, someone that's creative in the final third, or I, I think he said a winger as well. Someone who can create stuff in front of goal. And I was like, hey, that's me, man. So to get that sort of rap from the players who were already there, already with the club. Sorry, when I said new club before, I mean new club in a new league. They've been playing in another league for, I don't know, a while now, I guess. But to get that sort of feedback is great. And I definitely felt that, like I said, in my trial game that I played with them, I think I played maybe 30 minutes, 33 minutes or so, I think from my memory. I picked up two assists in a 3-0 win and the other goal that I wasn't involved in was a penalty. And that's when I was playing at striker as well. So I definitely helped influence that game. But if it doesn't happen, that's completely fine. I'm just trying to give you guys my point of view and my perspective because for you guys behind the camera who haven't attended any of the training sessions, didn't go to the game, it can be difficult to really understand what's and know what's happening. So from my point of view and my perspective, that's kind of how I'm feeling at the moment. But hey, there's nothing I can do now. I definitely felt like I left it all out there. I definitely felt like I performed and possibly earned myself a contract. I'm not gonna sit here and say I deserve one or say I should have signed one or say I should be signing one. That's not my decision. I just believe that I performed. So America, it's still on the cards, but we're not completely focused on it. We're focused on other stuff. And like I said, if it happens, that's amazing. We've got a professional contract. If it doesn't, and in three weeks when I'm in Asia, they go, we want you, then I have a decision to make. But in three weeks, if they go, oh no, we don't want you, I go, oh cool, I already have a team in Asia. Like that's kind of where it's at. So I've had a shower. I'm heading off to Lucy's friend's birthday party, which is tonight. No training or gym today. It feels very weird. I keep, man, I keep putting my head. I got less than, it's the 4th of December is kind of the time period which we're looking at. And that leaves pretty much a week and a half. It's Sunday today. No, it's Saturday. <laughs> but it doesn't leave much time, man, to get ready. I keep thinking about that and I don't want to waste a single day. But at the same time, I can't just destroy my body. So I think what I'm doing at the moment, kind of, this is my plan, all right? Two days on, so two days John Terry cardio workout, that's to really just get my fitness up. Two days ball work. So that might be a Jonah session in the morning and then gym at night. Do that for two days straight. Then I'll have a one day break from the John Terry cardio workout but still get down to the pitch and get a session, maybe two in, it depends. And then we do another two days John Terry cardio workout and then two park sessions and then we have a day off. That will give me five days of you know hard work a day off and then do that up until I have to leave. If I leave, I, I still don't know. But I'm thinking that's the best thing going forward. Fitness is number one, you know, uh, yeah, it's close to number one because I'm very unfit right now. And then the other thing is the ball skills. I need to get them back, be sharp. Cause man, oh, okay. he's running away. They're running away. Anyway, I'm gonna head off to this party and then I'll chat with you guys probably tomorrow morning. I wanted to speak about being a vegan a little bit and the sort of challenges I'm facing. So I'll catch you guys tomorrow morning. Uh, I hope I enjoy my night. <laughs> Next morning, weather's not so great. A little bit stormy outside. To get to the point, I'm no longer a vegan. The simple reason being, it is difficult to get the amount of calories that I need. As you guys know, when I eat normally, I struggle to get the amount of calories that I need. So going on that vegan diet, it does make things difficult. I don't prioritize my food enough, but going on a vegan diet made things a whole lot harder. And yes, I watched Game Changers. That didn't make me go, oh my goodness, I need to be vegan. Before I even watched Game Changers, I wanted to go vegan just for a little bit to try it. Yes, Game Changers sowed this stuff and a lot of people think it's biased or know it's biased. You can do all the research, all the studies you want, but the best research you can do is on yourself. You can be the guinea pig. And I thought I had a lot more time than I do right now until trials. I thought I was gonna have to be ready mid-January. That's why I thought this was the perfect time to try out the new diet, but 
With new trials coming up in the next few weeks, I'm gonna have to cut my vegan lifestyle short. How'd I feel on it? I felt great. I, you know, I wouldn't say amazing because I hadn't tested it for long enough. But I have nothing but respect for veganism. I do want to try it again. Lucy is still on a vegan diet, so when she's around, I'll be eating vegan as well. So it's not completely eliminated from my diet, but I will be introducing meats and dairy and all the other stuff. So that's my decision. I hope you guys respect it. Uh, but yeah, nothing against anybody. Please just respect the decision. That's what I think's best for me. That's what I think's best for my body right now. So Team Tweety, I'm Sun Out. Make sure you like and subscribe. Join Jenny Austin Rose. Bye.